Did you just hear that? It was music. Do you think that music's free? Mm -mm. So a lot of people, when they go to start this, they need the graphics, they need the music, they need all of the fun stuff that somebody like me has built up in order to get. In the beginning, we never had music because at the time of starting this whole thing, it was a whole whole other world. But today, you will find things that they claim are royalty free, sometimes are provided with the video programs when you're making stuff like this. They say it's royalty free, and then you end up with a copyright strike against you on the social media thing. Now, in today's world, most of the copyright strikes when it comes to music, they don't take down your videos. But what they do is if that video was intended to make you money, what they'll do is the copyright strike will come against you and then the, any money from that uh, video will be then directed to the company that is doing the copyright strike, which could be the music. More people that I know of have implemented royalty-free music into their videos only to be copyright striked by the actual company itself. And once that happens, you are basically screwed. The fact is, is that you start editing your stuff, it's in your videos, unless you plan on re-editing your stuff to get the music out, you are basically effed. And so what I'm going to recommend to you is that you really try to find a source uh, for music if you are going to use it. We use Epidemic Sound here, and that I've had for years. It is a monthly based price, and for myself, I pay for two licenses for that, one for the Crochet Crowd, one for the Knitting Crowd YouTube channel. You cannot have uh, one for, or you can't have one and do both. Also within that, it allows you to have your license for Facebook, Twitter, and also TikTok. So it's also included in that, so you can use it on all of the platforms, including YouTube here. So you have to look for a platform that can do that. The downside of that, is what? Once you start using the music, you're basically on the hook for life to that company that you decided to contract. And so that's one of those items that once you start that ball moving, you better be damn well sure you're getting on started because that video, if you ever take away your license in order to just quit, all of those videos that had that music from that host can be a copyright strike against you. And any money that you've made from those particular videos will then go to Epidemic Sound in this case. So you have to make sure that what you're about to do is the right thing for you, but do not trust in royalty free music online at all. You may say, well, I found some sources. I had a friend that actually had 300 uh, video strikes against her. Her videos are just fine, but all of the money of the 300 videos are now going to this company where she thought she was doing downloadables that were royalty free. But when she looked at the terms of services, even though it stated that it was a free royalty free, it stated right in the terms of services that they have the right to um, take back their stuff at any time and basically screwed her on all of her videos. She was so angry about it that she not only just uh, just didn't want the money to go to that company, but she took her videos out of service. So she removed like 300 videos from her collection and basically left herself with just a few handful of stuff left and was really honestly devastated. She went on this whole tirade about how she was screwed over, but you have to make sure that you're looking at the terms of services of any company that you're going to use in order to do this. Though this is a relatively cheap area to be able to get started in creating content, there can be long-term effects of bills that you'll never be able to escape as long as you're in the, in the business. So that's one thing you have to consider, especially if your industry is in a tidal wave like mine is. So for example, we're heading into our summer, so we're getting less and less and less views every day, and we will not return back to normal and start going back up and start to lift into August. And we find that the American school year when it starts in August is starting to build. And by the uh, middle of September, we're starting to really take off on our plane. And by November, we are like flying in the high clouds. So you have to cons uh, be thinking about your a community, what you're doing, and realize that there may be a cycle to the business, just like retail, how it changes things out for the seasons. That's also the, relevant for videos, unless you're doing slapjack videos or anything where people just wanna see you, you know, pie people in the face or something stupid. So you gotta think about your topic, your time of year, and then the money is also rel relative into that whole ball of wax.